Hi guys, welcome to the second part of the video series. I hope you are all doing well. In this part of the video series we will see how to do UV unwrapping of the Axe 3D model in Autodesk Maya, so let's get started. So here we are in Maya. In the previous part of the video series, we have seen how to create this model. If you haven't checked that video, first please check it out, the link of the video is given in the description below. Now then, let's start with this blade. Select this object and isolate it. Now let's create a mapping from Z-axis. Go to UV, and choose Planar Mapping option box. And now from here, choose Z-axis, and then click on Project. And now, if you open UV Editor, then you can see a planar mapping is projected from Z-axis. After that, go to Edge Mode, and then select these edge loops. Then go to UV Editor, hold Shift, right-click, and cut. Now select these inner edge loops, and cut them. Now go to UV Mode, select this UV shell, and move it aside. And now, select one edge loop over here, deselect the outside edges, then hold shift right click, and select move and sew edges. And now go to UV mode, select this UV shell, hold shift key, right click, then choose unfold, and again unfold. And now, unfold the remaining UV shells as well. And then rotate them and make them straight. Then drag and select all the UV shells, then hold shift right click, choose layout, then layout UVs. Turn on the checker box to see the distribution of the checkers in the mesh. It is looking good. Add this object to the layer and hide the visibility of the layer. And now let's do the rest of the parts with the same process. Stay tuned and enjoy. Now here, select the UV shell, hold shift key, right click, go to straighten, then straighten UVs. And then do the same for the remaining two UV shells.
And now over here, the topology is same for all these objects, so I will unwrap only one object, and then transfer the attributes to all the other remaining objects. After unwrapping one object, shift select another one, then go to mesh, and choose transfer attribute option box. Over here, change the sample space into topology, and then apply. After that, shift select the other objects once at a time, and then press G key to repeat the last command. And now after unwrapping the UVs for all the objects, select all the objects, go to edit, and delete history. After that, select all the objects, go to UV mode, select all the UV shells, and lay out them. And now, you can keep the UV shell distribution as default, or you can rearrange the UV shells according to your own preference. I prefer to rearrange the UV shells according to my preference, so that I have the full control on the UV shells while texturing. That's why I have arranged the UV shells in such a way that I know exactly which UV shell belongs to which object. And now, after all the arrangements are done for the UVs, we have to export out FBX file of the model. Select all the objects, go to File, and choose Export Selection Option Box. And now over here, choose the file type to FBX Export, click on Export Selection. Then choose your destination where you want to export the file, name it as per your choice, and then click on Export Selection. The UV unwrapping part is complete now. In the next video we will do the texturing of this model in Substance Painter. Stay tuned for the next video. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.